PC indie development has made the personal computer perhaps the most shooting-centric platform there is these days. Many tiny studios have broken out in pretty big ways, especially in Japan. Publishers like Rock and Android are making some pretty great efforts to localize some of the best titles from the Land of the Rising Sun for North American audiences, with titles such as Siguri, Gundamonium, and their 2009 release Flying Red Barrel, Diary of a Little Aviator. Flying Red Barrel follows the story of a young girl known as Red Barrel, who pilots a rotund little red biplane made out of a wine barrel. Red Barrel is trying to prove she can hang with the best pilots out there by lending a hand to the Blue Sky Union, but all is not as it seems. This game makes a pretty good effort to shake things up, so let's take a closer look. Flying Red Barrel is a more or less standard vertically scrolling shooter that spices things up with increasingly Danmaku style enemy fire the further in you get. Red Barrel can move about the screen at a decent rate with typical 8-way movement. Using the keyboard is satisfactory, but there's also gamepad options for people that prefer that. Red Barrel also has a rapid fire system that changes based on how the fire button is pressed. Tapping it will keep the bullets flying at a kind of semi-rapid rate. Holding the fire button will fire at the same rate, but movement will be reduced. This allows for better evasion in tighter spaces, but otherwise has no other advantage. Red Barrel also has a stock of up to five rockets available at her disposal. These rockets can be replenished with coins that are dropped by defeated enemies. These rockets can also be charged to create a larger blast radius so long as you've got two rockets left in your stock. Careful use of rockets can allow for a steady stream of coins to be dropped at ever-increasing rates that allow for more and more rockets to be fired. Rockets can also destroy enemy shots as well. Basically, Flying Red Barrel works well with solid concepts that succeed in practice, but doing well seems to be pretty impossible. It feels as if no matter how well I did, even with no missed stages, my performance would never get above three stars. Oftentimes, your commander will say that you're awful as well. Pretty discouraging, all told. The stages also get far too crowded later on, and since your fire never increases in amount or power, Getting overwhelmed and losing your rockets too quickly is a very real downer. In Flying Red Barrel, rockets are your ticket to a high score. By defeating larger amounts of enemies at a time with your rockets, a multiplier will be activated to a factor of up to 16. Not only does this score increase with the multiplier, but also the amount of coins dropped as well. In addition, coins are the key to getting extends. However, this multiplier will count down and diminish very rapidly, as shown in the top left-hand corner. In addition to standard coins, special mini coins can also be obtained, which will boost your score at stage end. Using rockets to take out enemy shots will award you with mini coins, but you can also collect them by defeating mini bosses and stage end bosses quickly while their shots are still on screen. At specific points in each stage, there will be a bonus chance that requires players to completely destroy every enemy on the screen without letting any escape. These bonuses are quite hefty, but miss even one target or get hit, and you lose the bonus entirely. Finally, a stage end tally brings it all together with bonuses for coins and mini coins collected, as well as lives remaining. So, all in all, the scoring is pretty sound, but there's just one problem. There's no online ranking, making it a local-only affair. Little Red Barrel also has a pretty solid presentation, if a little bland. Visually, the game appears to sport a cel-shaded engine, but in actuality everything in the game is a 2D sprite. And while the elements used are still pretty sharp, there isn't a whole lot of animation used at any point aside from rotation and scaling effects. The sound is also decently solid, but otherwise unremarkable. None of the tunes of this game are especially moving, and the sound effects, while fitting, are kind of dull and not particularly engaging. Story-wise though, Flying Red Barrel does have quite a bit of back and forth between the characters that appear throughout the game. It's a good touch, but maybe a bit distracting, especially in later stages. The good news is that some stages have different outcomes depending on your performance, which makes things a bit more interesting. But all in all, how does Flying Red Barrel stack up? Let's take a look.
Flying Red Barrel controls well enough, but the hitbox isn't especially well defined, making things tricky in tight fire patterns. For the most part, this game is easy enough to control. While the core gameplay is really easy, the scoring is a little too unforgiving, and the star rating doesn't seem to match up with the gameplay. The challenge in this game is really deceptive. You could technically do very well and still get a 1 star rating. Five stages is a decent length, and multiple paths are good for additional playthroughs. The length here is decent enough, not too long and not especially short. While sharp, the faux cell shaded style seems a bit lazy. The design here is cute, but pretty bland overall. Red Barrel's OST is solid, but not particularly outstanding. The sound effects are pretty generic, and none of the OST really stood out. The rocket system is pretty neat, but in the end it doesn't exactly save Flying Red Barrel from mediocrity. I really enjoyed the coin collecting which went towards my rocket gauge, but otherwise nothing really stood out to me. There's a lot to like about Flying Red Barrel, especially if you haven't played many shoot 'em up style games. It's a solid, enjoyable vertical shooter with a fair bit of personality. It just doesn't have the means to hold up to other shooters like Cloud Phobia or Ether Vapor Remaster. It's also needlessly harsh when it comes to the scoring. In the end, Flying Red Barrel Diary of a Little Aviator gets a 3.5 out of 5. For six bucks, you can grab a copy of Flying Red Barrel from Gamers Gate, Desura, and most recently, for all you shmuppers in the UK, Flying Red Barrel is now also on Rice Digital for three pounds ninety-nine.